So let's talk about piecewise functions. I'm just going to get in, into uh, basically like a little mini crash course on this topic. So effectively, what we have is two functions. All right. So we have this one function, f of x. It's uh, x squared, okay, sometimes, and it's x at other times, i.e., we can kind of think of this function as this. We have f of x is equal to x squared, all right? Now, when is it equal to x squared? Well, it's equal to x squared when uh, x is greater than 2. I'll show you an example of what, uh, you know, how to think about this in a second. And then we have this other function, f of x, same uh, function, f, and uh, it's, it, it's uh, equal to x when x is less than or equal to 2. So instead of writing it this way, we just write this one kind of a big old bracket and we kind of define it this way. So we're talking about two functions. And again, it all depends on what value of x we're looking at. So if we have values of x that are greater than 2, we're going to be using uh, or be thinking about that x squared function. And if we have values of x that are equal to or less than 2, we're going to be thinking about that x function. Okay, so again, over here, greater than 2, that's x squared. I don't know if I misspoke. If I did, I apologize. But anyways, anything greater than 2, we're thinking about x squared. Anything 2 or less, we're thinking about x. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the graphs of these here uh, separately. So the graph of f of x is equal to x. Remember, um, in function language, f of x is the same thing as y. So if you wanted to graph this function, we could replace this f of x with a y if that makes it easier for you to think about this. And so here we have a linear equation. Oops, actually, I have this incorrect. Let's go ahead and fix that up. This is uh, y equals x. This is y equals x squared. So y equals x is a lovely a linear equation, a line, a 45-degree uh, line, all right? So hopefully you understand how to graph lines. If you need help with any of this stuff, what we're talking about here is Algebra 1, Algebra 2 level mathematics. Uh, so a couple of quick suggestions. If you're struggling with functions or uh, graphing a linear equation, any of this kind of stuff, go to my math help program. Check out uh, my either my um, Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 course. If you happen to be pre-calculus, I do teach this as well. So any of those courses can help you out. Okay, so this right here, all right, the function f of x is equal to x, this would be its graph. And then the function here, f of x is equal to x squared, would be same as uh, uh, would be the same as the equation y equals x squared, which is just a basic uh, parabola, right? And its vertex is at the origin, 0, 0. So hopefully you understand that. Okay, now I'm going to show you the actual graph. And we're going to have to combine this graph here and this graph in some manner. But before we get going, let's recall that in our um, function here, our, our piecewise function, we're going to have x squared when x is greater than 2, and we're going to have x when x is less than or equal to 2. So I'm just going to kind of give you a bit of a clue. So right here at 2, okay, this is a kind of our, like our line of demarcation. When everything is greater than 2, all right, when values of x, when x is greater than 2, we're going to have this graph, all right, but we're not going to have this graph. We're only going to have the parabola when x is greater than 2, and then here at 2 or when x is um, uh, 2 or less, then we're going to have this graph. So how do we put this all in one graph? Well, I'll show you this in just one second, but let's make sure you can evaluate a piecewise function. So I might be told to say, uh, find f of 5 of this function here. So we're like, okay, 5 is what? Well, 5 is a value that's greater than 2, all right? So you have to look at these inequalities. So I go, 5 is greater than 2, so therefore I have to use uh, x squared. So f of 5 will be the same. Um, when we evaluate this function for 5, it's going to be, we have to use x squared, so that would be 5 squared, which would be, uh, of course, uh, be equal to 25. All right, let's go take a look at this example here, f of 1. We're like, okay, f of 1, 1 is less than 2, so we have to use the x function. So that's going to be super easy. We simply just plug in 1 for x, so that's just 1. All right, so that's just a real quick example of how to evaluate piecewise functions. So when you're doing these problems in algebra, effectively, uh, kind of the two two main type of problems. There's other type of problems that you could have as well, but you definitely need to know how to evaluate piecewise uh, functions, which I just showed you. 
and then how to graph them. So let's take a look at the graph right now. So I kind of gave you a clue on how how it's going to be constructed. So what you have to do is think about, all right, we have our x squared uh, parabola, okay? And this is going to be in place when x is greater than 2. So here's 2. So right here, I'm drawing my little parabola. Now, of course, that parabola goes around, but I don't need the whole thing, right? I'm not going to graph the whole thing, so I'm kind of just graphing this part of the parabola, and I'm putting an open circle at 2, okay? So I'm leaving an open uh, circle at 2 because this is for all x's that are greater than 2, not equal to 2. So when x is equal to 2, okay, or less than 2, I have this uh, function x, right, which is like my 45-degree line, and it's going down this way, and I'm filling in that circle at 2, right? So this would be how you would graph a piecewise function. All right, so there's a lot of different type of um, uh, piecewise functions. You can actually make them more interesting. We can plug in other values. Let's say, let's kind of fix this up here. Uh, let's say we'll have the parabola x squared when x is greater than 5. Then when we have x is greater than 2, then maybe we can have another function here. Let's say x minus uh, 3 when x is what? Well, it would have to be less than 5, maybe less than or equal to 5. Whoops. Um, less than or equal to 5 and greater than 2, for example, some other interval. Uh, but anyways, I'm just kind of throwing this out there that you just, you know, you can have more than just uh, two functions in your piecewise function. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.